morning. Welcome to Monday morning in the Hibbert's household. We're just getting ready for another day of home learning. Um, it is 20 to 9. Everybody's up and dressed. Why have I got to stop? Why have I got to stop? I don't like you doing it sometimes. Um, I'll tell you a bit more later when I haven't got a toddler hanging off my dress. So today it's Monday and we're getting on with some home learning. Pete has to work today, but his work is based at home at the moment, so he's in the study. In terms of schoolwork, we're in really fortunate positions in our jobs that we are both working from home, but work is quite flexible. And um, so I can dedicate most of my time to the kids and then I can get work done in the afternoons or evenings when Pete's around. Um, Daisy goes to preschool on just one day a week. It opened again last week, so that makes a huge difference. So Tuesdays have become a day when we can crack on and get loads done with the others because she can be quite a distraction when I'm trying to be doing some teaching with Joseph. And I had about 15 years of classroom experience. I used to be a teacher and yet teaching your own child is so different and so difficult and he is so hard to keep focused. So we've resorted last week to bribery and corruption and Every time he wrote a sentence, he could have a chocolate button when he reached the full star. <laughs> it's just desperate measures now. I think we're week nine, ten of our home learning journey with the kids. And um, yeah, we're resorting to sweet treats as rewards. <laughs> I'm counting in twos today. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So Joseph and I are just getting some of the work from school done. We're getting his maths and bite size done. And after that, Joseph... I really don't like it, but we've got a chart, so I've got to do it. Then I get a chart of the week. <laughs> the school are brilliant. They are so supportive and they are sending a lot of work home. Fantastic timetables with resources and activities and lessons. And we're picking and choosing the best bits from those that we think our kids will rel relate to and respond well to. But because we've both got backgrounds in teaching, we're adapting it a little bit as well. So for example, the story that the school have suggested for this week is lovely, but I'm not sure Joseph would be that motivated by it. So we've switched and we're doing the Taigu came to tea instead. Who's coming to tea later? The Taigu came to tea, I don't care about that bit. One of our favourite stories of our family is the tiger who came to tea. So anyway, they're going to get a shot later because the tiger is coming to tea. not real. With um, a little bit of help from Google, <laughs> augmented reality. <laughs> no! It's actually a really, really good opportunity that's come out of this to personalise learning to our own children because at school, Joseph would have had to read the book that everybody else was reading and if he wasn't interested, then he wasn't interested. Whereas at home, because I know him so well, I can really tailor that learning to him. So I'm feeling like it's a great opportunity and I need to seize the moment. Um, we probably won't get this chance again with our children. We have no intentions of homeschooling them longer term. Um, but just until this pandemic's under control, we're making the most of it. We're going to read the time you came to tea. I'll, I'll just be beside the phone. No, don't worry. Just come and but you can't see the pictures. Would you like a drink? And the tiger drank all the milk in the milk jug oh. and all the tea in the teapot. I wouldn't be oh. happy if he take all my tea. And then he looked around the kitchen to see what else he could find. So he's Will had he sandwiches, buns and tea. So that's what we need on our kitchen table when he comes. Well, he eat two bags anyway. Shoes. Don't take your shoes off the table. Right, Daisy Doo. Don't face that way. Let's get yeah. your... Put your penny on, so we're going to do some baking. Who's coming for tea later, Daisy? The tiger who came to tea! The tiger who came no. to tea! No! So... It be me! We're going to get some cakes baked, aren't we? Chocolate! Chocolate chips! No chocolate marshmallows! Chocolate marshmallows! Where have the rest of my cupcake cases gone? It's all over there. Here we go. Can you put that one in? That one. 
kind of tricky to get out of. No, I can't put it in. Oh, that's it. There you go. I'm done! Joseph's just finished his work. Hold on, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50. High five! Yeah. <laughs> right, so top tip for making the perfect sponge, Daisy, is to weigh your eggs. Daisy, can you come and help me do the balancing? Let's see. That wasn't very kind. Come here. But Daisy, your name's moved down because that wasn't nice. I don't mind my name being moved down. But that's your warning. Daisy, I've weighed my eggs and they are, they weigh, oh, hold on, maybe not quite that much. Let me see. Four, four and three quarters Mommy. ounces. Mommy. So those are our eggs. I've got to keep I those I know safe. why I'm that kind of superhero. Um, so we've got to put in four and three quarter ounces of flour, of sugar and of margarine and then we'll crack the eggs in, okay? So really carefully, Joseph, crack them into there. Let's try not to get any shell. You're going to have to give it a bit more than that. That's it. But we just don't want the egg to end up on the floor, do we? Over the bowl. Can I do that one more? Can How's I it going? Can I do that egg? I always do it, but Can I do really that That's egg? amazing, Joseph. I think we might have one teeny, teeny, tiny, tiny bit of shell there. Look, can you see it? And do it to two old cats. Two yoka, double yoka, that's right. Right, Daisy, we'll give you a go, yeah? I'm gonna crack. That's it now, two hands. One hand on this side, one hand on that side. She's definitely gonna have an egg shell. Josie, move your head out the way, please. Woo! That's a huge yoke, just one, but it's enormous. That's the only reason why. Brilliant! We need some self-raising flour. Can I put the flour in? Well, what we've got to do is make sure. Yes, stop! <coughs> we've got to make sure that we measure it properly. <laughs> Don't cough into our cakes. Don't cough into our cakes. She's got the cake. <laughs> She has not got she the cake. She coughed into the cake. Right, if we're all coughing, even if it's pretend, you'll have to stop doing this because it's not good for the cakes. Yes, madam. Thank you. Which one should I Whoa! Is it balanced? Daisy, can you get a spoonful of baking oh. powder? Yeah. It's not gone. Mummy, it hasn't actually gone. It didn't actually go. Mummy, it didn't actually go. And you put that in with the flour. Mummy, it Ooh. didn't actually go. In with the flour. Mummy, it didn't actually go down. That's because you've taken the weights off, you <laughs> cheeky boy. Should we treat ourselves to a little bit of vanilla extract in there as well? Yeah. Is that the same as that book? That in. Is that the same as as well? No, sweetheart, that's a lot more. I that weight it. says one pound. So that's a heavy weight. Right, last job. So turn it back on again. Ready? Press the start what button. What about that? Do you like some chocolate chips then? Me? Mummy, yeah. can I press on? Not yet. And look, 
Okay, go on, turn it on, yep. Joseph. Wow, have you got them in order? Good boy. Hey, um. so they look like they're all mixed through. Look, can you see all the little chocolate dots all the way through? Oh, you don't need it anymore. Okay, okay. next job. Thank hey, you. Is it? Am I going to carry on making these on my own, you two, whilst you mess around? Wait, I want to just do one Hello. thing. I just... Look, it's all over. Like, Daisy, that's too much. Okay, all right then. Thank you, Daisy, for all your lovely help. And now I think it's time for you to go. <laughs> goodness at the door <laughs> look joseph joseph come here joseph. shall we let him in i want to stroke him oh yeah yeah he's liking that don't well not in his mouth you don't want him to he's hungry remember <gasps> is that right yeah <laughs> i'm recording this yeah oh, oh. Yes. 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 oh no no don't upset a tiger no, no. Ah, he's gonna eat so we've made a tea ready for our tiger's arrival we're having the usual I'm arguments sorry. over who sits where. I was just saying, no, I don't want to sit there. So We're going to go and enjoy tea. Sorry. He's, um... Like sandwich? <laughs> oh. You just... It's amazing how you can put your hand straight through him. <laughs> oh, he looked like he was eating it. <laughs> I'm not sure if you like tea with a tiger. Yeah. The tiger was yummy. No, the food was yummy. What's the best thing about having tea with a tiger? The it was, I didn't really get too much food because it's very smelly. No, the tiger's like, you're out. Well, I can't see the tiger. He's gone away again now. Did you all say goodbye to the tiger? Yeah. Oh, give him a wave out the window. He might look back and see you. Hi. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good boy. So Ellie's making a cup of tea. Olivia's emptying the dishwasher. Joseph's clearing the table. It's a hive of activity. I wish it wasn't my job. Okay, how would you make more helpful then? Now I'm making a Oh, I see. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you've enjoyed being part of our crazy household for the day. Um, just um, a little taster of our home learning journey. Always looking for new ways to keep it creative and fun, but um, getting the job done at the same time. Um, that's been a good day. I hope you've enjoyed it and we look forward to seeing you when we film our next video.